good morning everyone and uh, hope the lockdown is still continued up to 17th of May and uh, so like uh, we will be continuing with uh, the surgery and uh, so we were seeing about the lump and um, and the different uh, maneuvers and all of the things. So. Um, like um, we saw about the benign and the malignant uh, differentiation and uh, so now uh, we will see about differential diagnosis so, the congenital dermoid cyst. So it is a sequestration dermoid and uh, cyst develops in the line of the embryonic fusion and uh, so behind the pinna for example and uh, below the tongue and the midline and uh, uh, at the outer angle of the orbit and uh, so uh, there will be a presence of fluctuation but translucency will be absent due to presence of the pultaceous material inside the cyst and uh, the finger also will not slip away and uh, so then next we have this tubulodermoid and teratomatis Dermoid, and you have uh, implantation or acquired dermoid, and uh, a traumatic swelling from surface to down, um, driven into subducent tissue, and uh, like a dermoid cyst, uh, uh, it's always a sequel of trauma, and uh, we have this hemangiomas. So this hemangiomas, I had some thoughts about it. And uh, so it's a ma vascular uh, malformations or hematomas, and um, they arise from the capillary or the vein and uh, the artery, and accordingly called as a capillary hemangioma or cavernous hemangioma or a plexiform cystoid hemangioma. So uh, there's a picture of a strawberry hemangioma, uh, capillary hemangioma of the cheek. Uh, of a child given and um, so then you have the capillary hemangiomas uh, port wine stain that is diffuse telangiectasia salmon patch and uh, it's present since birth and you have spider nevus usually these uh, surgical and medicinal terms they have their own explanation of the words and uh, it's not necessary that uh, we should uh, um, specifically get into the uh, regional language and learn so if you know the word then you are set all set to go and uh, so that's the main uh, reason why most of the people choose medicine and uh, so then you have a schematic diagram to show strawberry nevus the first one is a strawberry nevus so the second one is a port wine stain and uh, it's a collection of uh, dilated uh, intradermal capillaries and third one is a spider nevus they are visible radiating branches from a single arterial so you see the first diagram so there is something like a congested mole and uh, that is a strawberry nevus and uh, so usually pitted out and uh, next is a port wine stain of uh, the 
capillaries and um, uh, so next uh, the spider mavis so that is branched and so like uh, usually has a central red spot radiating fine blood vessels like legs of a spider uh, often seen over the manubrium stern eye the upper half of trunk face and arms and uh, so there's a possibility of acute osteomyelitis is a common cause of this condition and then you have abscesses so there is biogenic abscess and uh, that is adjacent focus of infection or hematogenous or lymphatic spread and uh, so there will be brawny induration and edema and uh, pyemic abscess uh, that is uh, ma multiple abscess and uh, then you have it on the um, uh, subfacial uh, plane and uh, then you have this tremendous with high fever, rigor, toxemia. Then you have this cold abscess. So cold abscess is a very important one and uh, usually in forensic medicine. And uh, cold, non-reacting in nature, not produce hot, painful abscess. And the brawny induration, AD, much and then is conspicuous by the abscess. And... Uh, uh, it's a sequel of uh, tubercular infection. Uh, it's commonly uh, anywhere in the body, commonly in lymph node and bone. Cessation of lymph node forms the cord abscess. And um, then, so caseation. So it is a pathology and of the lymph nodes form this cold abscess. And uh, the common sites are neck and the axilla. And uh, so sometimes cold abscess is seen in the loin, and um, uh, so at the back or the side of the chest wall. And uh, these are sequel of tuberculosis, affection of the spine, ribs, posterior mediastinal group of lymph nodes. And uh, they originate from the ends of the bones and joints and actually come to surface through the facial planes. And uh, next we have the a uh, boil or a furuncle. So the um, infection of the hair follicle with the staphylococcus aureus leads to this condition which are associated with the peri folliculitis and uh, so tremendous uh, um, tenderness is seen surrounding edema and uh, small pustule appears and uh, uh, perianal boils where uh, rupture from sinuses was may lead to cellulitis and uh, so so and uh, hydroadenitis for example in the axilla uh, due to uh, um, uh, too much of hair follicles and uh, next we have the carbuncle so it's a bigger form of a boil and uh, due to cephalococcus aureus and uh, due to infective gangrene of the sub tissue and uh, subcutaneous tissue and uh, mostly diabetic and uh, are commonly seen in the back in the nape of neck where skin is poor and then the vitality of the tissue is less and then we have uh, this uh, Red dusky edematous with marked indurations and uh, skin. Uh, so, the sieve like or cribriform appearance of the carbuncle is pathognomic. Uh, so, they have ulcer which has a hashy gray slough. And uh, so, slough is something that which comes out. Um, as the shape of the skin and uh, like a cloud um, and uh, so uh, and the constitutional symptoms and toxemia okay next we have the neoplastic benign neoplasm of the papilloma so first one is a papilloma and it is pedunculated growth having branched to villous processes 
and the squamous transitional or columnar and the red swollen ulcerated uh, uh, due to injury and uh, next we have papilliferous and pedunculated um, uh, types and um, then you have uh, which is a soft and solid uh, there is cutaneous papilloma and uh, so uh, this base is not indurated like an epidermoid carcinoma and uh, so the surface may be hard which is called as a uh, horny papilloma and the complications are ulceration, bleeding and malignancy. So then you have fibroma. So it's a tumor of the fibrous tissue and um, so like uh, they are combined with other mesodermal tissues such as fat fibrolipoma, the muscles fibromyoma, nerve sheet neurofibroma and um, uh, then the last name the tumor may be seen in uh, multiple numbers which is called as a neurofibromatosis there is von Reckling Hausen's disease so uh, fibroma in the nerves and uh, nerve sheath so like uh, when hearing about these mesodermal tissues I uh, really remember about uh, um, biology, biobotany uh, so we were learning about, uh, especially in uh, zoology, we don't have this. We not learn about the cell structure as much depth. Uh, but botany was uh, like the last subject we had in the 12th. So there uh, we had this uh, um, mesodermal, myoma, myothelial cells and all of the things. Uh, so that was very difficult to learn in the 12th. Um, was yes uh, was easy only but to remember it was uh, somewhat like uh, taking us to a uh, migraine um, something like um, uh, hallucinations and the magical mushrooms and uh, so like uh, especially botany uh, and also the classification of the um, actually, the zoo, Zootopia, the zoological kingdom, uh, was uh, very uh, easy and uh, very romantic. Actually, uh, very beautiful, beautifully portrayed uh, about the animal kingdom. Um, and as such of botany and Linnaeus and Hoffman's classification, um, this uh, uh, like. Uh, um, the different uh, types of learning, uh, the name, the genus and the species and all of the things was uh, very great blessings from uh, the department of biology. So I wish to learn more. Actually when I went to the herbarium I was thinking and remembering good old times and uh, was uh, very much surprised to see a statue uh, resembling my biology teacher. So Ms. P. N. Gita. So like uh, uh, actually that is a tomb. Um, actually that might be a tomb of Cleopatra. Um, actually the tomb of Tutankhamun uh, is in the road Asia. Um, when I uh, uh, when I was uh, in an afternoon accidentally visiting certain places in Namibia. So here in Cypress Islands, uh, this uh, tomb of uh, resembling somewhat like a Cleopatra was there and the beautiful and um, so like uh, these words are quite difficult but uh, really enjoyable and uh, dreamable and uh, imaginable and uh, into a dramatorium and uh, uh, so like a dramatorium in space as of the Cypress Islands and uh, so like uh, I wish to say it uh, and uh, next uh, I wish to read about uh, mathematics uh, so upcoming I don't know the upcoming medical subjects are like uh, uh, ENT is there ophthalmology is there so ONG I'll be speaking about and uh, so ONG is very close to me so I'll be speaking about a lot and uh, 
so we will see uh, two parts of uh, uh, obstetrics and two parts of gynecology and uh, then uh, we will uh, why I didn't take it first was like uh, throughout lifetime I'll be talking about O and G only. If I become a obstetrician and a gynecologist, uh, but I would like to be a general surgeon, and um, uh, so like uh, I thought I could first finish off these uh, beautiful subjects and come into O and G, and uh, so like uh, we'll see about this. Uh, uh, then uh, this fibromas, uh, so like uh, uh, we are having this uh, Paget's recurrent fibroma and uh, this desmoid tumor. So then we have this, uh, uh, so an unusual type of fibroma arising from the uh, rectus sheath is notorious for recurrence and stands in the borderline of malignancy. So, then you have this lipoma. So, these are fibromas and uh, lipomas. Lipomas are usually due to um, uh, not uh, congenital, maybe due to chromosomal uh, interference. Uh, and fibromas are like genetical, uh, like hereditary or like by birth. And... Um, so it's known as a, a universal tumor and uh, different examples are given so there is encapsulated variety diffuse variety and uh, multiple lipomas so like uh, fibroma of the foot is given so this is a very common condition usually a normal foot or a, a infected foot appears like a fibroma and uh, to, to the more of it um, uh, after an infection in a um, uh, congenital uh, developed area it might be more of and uh, so like uh, is arranged in lobules separated by fibrous sector and delicate capsule so uh, by reading this I remember only botany and uh, so then in case of Nevo lipoma and uh, that is uh, skin may be stretched with the dilated vein over the tumor. Uh, usually skin stretches only with the artery but here the dilated vein becomes more uh, cautious like an artery and uh, so uh, the slip sign uh, is seen and uh, so in some conditions it yields to and uh, fluctuations and all of that almost in a semi liquid condition uh, and uh, semi fluctuating swellings so a pedunculated lipo uh, lipoma at the nape of the neck so this is a uh, very big lipoma and uh, usually a monster lipoma to say is of a jungle and a jurassic age and uh, so showing how the lipoma is freely mobile over a contracted muscle the trapezius muscle has been made taut by shrugging the shoulder up against resistance with one hand and the lipoma is moved with the other hand so and uh, uh, so sometimes uh, lipoma contains uh, dilated blood vessel which is called as a nevo lipoma and uh, so like uh, next is uh, when the lipoma contains uh, excessive amounts of fibrous uh, tissue it is called as a fibrolipoma so so when it contains uh, nerve tissue nevo lipoma so we have seen it previously uh, so the surgery book again repeats these things uh, usually this uh, twice the words said uh, approves that uh, the uh, it belongs to certain people so um, like and um, 
so then then we have complications so like um, uh, it's uh, particularly true in case of uh, lipoma and subcutaneous tissue of thigh, buttock and retroperitoneal lipoma and uh, myxomatous degeneration, saponification, calcification, infection, ulceration, liposarcoma. So then you have the diffuse variety, pseudo lipoma and multiple lipomas, excessive alcohols. Okay, let me go a little bit fast so that we have some uh, nice interesting facts. And um, so then we have multiple lipomas, that is the neurolipomatosis and uh, so then uh, um, Durkheim's disease that is adiposis dolorosa so variety of this condition in which there are tender lipomatous swelling particularly affecting the trunk so um, so in, in a person's uh, like uh, if they are uh, very normal even from birth we can't say what happens after puberty or accidentally after a injury or some um, huge trauma so these conditions are after as of such and um, and uh, this is more common in women and uh, neurofibroma, so tumor contains both neural ectodermal and fibrous mesodermal elements. Um, uh, tumor uh, controversy still exists about its origin. Tumors should not be confused with neural emoma, that is uh, squanoma. And uh, so then you have local neurofibroma um, and. Uh, Paresthesia and uh, tingle sensation can be moved in the lateral direction but not along the direction of the nerve uh, from which it arises and the complications, cystic degeneration, sarcomatous changes and uh, acoustic tumor um, and you have um, generalized neurofibromatosis von Recklinghausen's disease so a lot of uh, this um, neat PG uh, exam questions and all of the one word questions uh, usually has this von Recklinghausen's disease so what it is so let's see about it um, then like we still have only a few pages of lipoma and uh, so this is page 50 and we have only 10 pages and then we move on to examination of an ulcer and uh, so let's uh, finish, finish uh, chapter 4 and so like I think uh, today we'll finish only after that uh, okay so chapter 5 is also very small and okay take a break Okay, uh, like they are given some pictures of von Recklinghausen's disease. So that is uh, some um, cemented uh, skin, like on the back and on the front. The lady is masked, ectomized, and um, so another one is a pachydermatocele, a rare variety of plexiform neurofibromatosis. So. Uh, that is uh, usually seen in the red Indians and in the village people uh, so like um, not uh, too much of this but only a bit uh, so this lady is having an entire pachydermatosis uh, so like uh, next you have plexiform neurofibromatosis occurring in connection with ophthalmic division of the uh, trigeminal nerve uh, so that is a plexiform so this is also seen in certain people um, with uh, malnourished people uh, with, uh, who are like uh, very stout on growth and uh, so these are very rare conditions but you could see these uh, people in uh, 
who like uh, who farm the daily part of wages um, outside in the outside world so like uh, so we will see about the we will see in brief about the one wrecking horse species so there is a picture of a person with a local neurofibroma affecting the face so this is very common and uh, these are multiple neurofibromas spread all over the body involving the cranial spinal peripheral nerves tumors are said to originate from the perineurium and the epineurium it's a congenital autosomal dominant disease this condition may be associated with light brown pigmentation that is a cafe owlet patch uh, then you have acoustic neuroma pheochromocytoma so then it is like um, malignant change neurofibrosarcoma is seen in 5% of the cases then multiple nodules may be present even at birth uh, but they may increase in size and number in subsequent years the patient is almost covered with nodules of different sizes all throughout the body uh, mostly they are in subcutaneous tissue and some may even become pedunculated uh, the nodules vary in consistency from very firm even hard to soft nodules neurological disturbances are uncommon complications are pigmentation of skin neurological pressure symptoms deafness in acoustic neuroma spinal cord compression by dumb bell tumor uh, mediastinal syndrome in case of mediastinal tumor uh, cystic degeneration important sarcomatous change neurofibrosarcoma uh, it may be a part of multiple endocrine adenopathy type 2b which in neurofibromas affecting lips eyelids and face associated with medullary carcinoma of thyroid pheochromocytoma hypertension and hyperparathyroidism so a lot of complications are given so then we have plexiform neurofibromatosis and uh, that is mix of fibromatous degeneration and unsightly uh, with folds and uh, affects the upper limb then we have elephantiasis neurofibromatosis uh, this coarse dry uh, thick and resembling elephant uh, skin uh, normally thickened and edematous and uh, they are filarial elephantiasis following end block excision of the lymph nodes for carcinoma of uh, breast or penis and elephantiasis uh, gray corneum of nodular leprosy affecting the face and the forearm so then we have pachydermatosis so it's so defined as a variant of plexiform neurofibromatosis neck is affected from the coils of soft tissue hand down resulting in an unsightly deformity then we have this squamoma that is neurilemoma so uh, contains mixture of neural and uh, fibrous elements um it arises from the squam cell of the neurilemma uh, that is ectodermal in origin uh, so still i doubt that uh, whether um, you have taken these uh, subjects uh, so this must be the main uh, first origin and uh, you have just uh, extracted it out uh, with uh, certain addings and your reviews uh, to the um, like uh, um, arts form of uh, learning so because a lot of uh, common names and uh, the generic names are given here and uh, so it's okay but uh, anyways uh, the primary uh, the secondary and the higher secondary uh, will be the first uh, uh, preference and uh, the colleges are um, adequate subsequent adjacent to it so um, any degree uh, with the college will not be equal to the primary secondary and higher secondary so that is a must and uh, we can't do anything with it so we have to go by law and uh, so uh, then uh, uh, you have these um, 
all of the things and uh, so like uh, lymphangioma and uh, localized cluster of dilated lymph sacs and so a lot of uh, different names as though we have learnt all of the names and uh, still uh, along with uh, um, a lot of uh, because same words repeated uh, you could have mentioned only the important points to memorize uh, since it is uh, uh, like uh, it's a manual um, like uh, we can't uh, uh, exempt from anything uh, but still uh, uh, the learning progress must be uh, made so like uh, next we have simple uh, capillary lymphangioma uh, lymphangioma circumscriptum and uh, uh, so like uh, this is a small vesicle a small blister slightly elevated skin patch and uh, size varies from 0.5 to 4 millimeter in diameter um, and uh, fluctuation fluid little translucency so these positives and negatives and all of the things uh, so that uh, um, then uh, cavernous lymphangioma that is a bigger lymphatic swellings uh, occurs in the face mouth and the lips and um, it causes enormous enlargement of the lips uh, usually during an infection or a allergic uh, um, condition these lips enlarge uh, swell and uh, uh, and uh, after one or two days they get down uh, but uh, here they form a, a temporary or a permanent like uh, swelling so which is very painful and uh, even if it is not painful it is very disturbing and uh, so it is called as macroglossia and uh, the pectoral region and axilla and uh, uh, so so the cyst is often interspersed among the muscle fibers causing difficulty in dissection so then you have cystic hygroma so uh, it uh, contains clear watery fluid and uh, so the development of cystic hygroma isolated limb channels which become segregated from the jugular limb sac form multilocular cystic hygroma at the root of the neck in the posterior triangle so uh, a, a super diagram is given and the mesoderm containing isolated limb channels jugular limb sac with the limb channels interjugular veins um, subclavian veins superior vena cava brachiocephalic veins all of the diagrams and uh, actually uh, I was drawing about my uh, 3D assumption of space on uh, this uh, 3D VIA and, uh, uh, diagrams so, uh, online and uh, one of my projections came out like this and uh, so and if you apply it on the net you will see the projection uh, in a 3D view uh, usually like um, when you travel in a bike if you have a satellite satellite bike so set bike so like um, the actually what you see on the ground is a 4d view and what you see around surrounding is a 3d view and what you see on the sky is a two dimensional view so above uh, what you see on the top above um, on the full of the clouds and sky is uh, something what you see on the nearby surface uh, like invisible uh, projection and um, so still under research and um, like um, uh, then 
so they have uh, cholesterol crystals and lymphocytes also and the fluid does not coagulate and uh, so um, um, it's like um, it's partially compressible as a fluid in one loculus so this is not a loculus and uh, can be compressed into the other so it's often called hydrocele of the neck uh, and particularly when it is unilocular uh, so uh, you have the normal skin intradermal mole and the junctional mole diagram given and uh, then you have the complications so there, when there is a light uh, rupture of the sister that is known as the liporia and uh, there is uh, obstructive labor uh, due to massive swelling before birth and next we have the moles that is pigmented nervous freckles benign melanomas so uh, so like uh, after moles we are having the malignant ones so like other swellings also are there so, that's all um, okay let me take a break so uh, like uh, we have the moles pigmented nervous freckles benign melanomas and uh, they are common in Caucasians in hot countries such as Australia and uh, skin is exposed to most of ultraviolet rays and uh, so the moles does not occur in Negroes so this is a very important thing where it does not occur where it occurs is a common thing and uh, but uh, malignant change is very rare so where it does not occurs so from there uh, we could uh, get medicines out of uh, them uh, like uh, uh, we could treat ourselves with comparison and uh, so like uh, Uh, seen around the mucocutaneous junctions that is the mouth and the anus and uh, disfiguring and the black spots are the main symptoms so um, and uh, color varies from light brown to black so the amylonotic moles do exist and uh, so then we have the hairy mole and uh, which has a slightly warty epidermal covering uh, so the sebaceous glands may also be infected and uh, this uh, causes increase in swelling and tenderness and uh, non hairy or smooth moles and blue nervous uh, that is deep in the dermis and uh, so then you have the junctional nervous uh, so there is a diagram of giving a uh, cystic hygroma at the right side of the neck of the baby um, so usually babies the necks usually look like that uh, but certain babies they might be by birth and uh, so um, then we have a typical case of basal cell carcinoma on the um, temporal region 
and uh, nearby the ear. So then you have the compound nervous and uh, then you have juvenile mole. Uh, which shows the junctional activity before puberty and uh, but it turns out to be a mature benign intradermal mole uh, and not into a malignant melanoma then you have Atchison's freckle that is lentigo uh, so so large area of uh, dark pigmentation and uh, so usually in the face and neck of elderly people and uh, so then you have malignant ones that is a so these are very important uh, five and ten marks that is the basal self carcinoma that is a rodent ulcer then you have the squamous cell carcinoma, then you have the malignant melanomas and the sarcoma, synovial sarcomas. So okay, let's see them one by one. So as you know, people learning surgery would know what to um, So it originates from basal layer of rete malfigi of the skin. So there's a malfigian cells are there, and uh, and uh, so uh, Australia is the most commonly affected. Uh, so why Australia is commonly affected? because you are more prone to sepsis and because of uh, no dry land always a wet land and uh, so commonest site is the inner and the outer canthus of the eye um, so it's seen in the upper half of the face and the second picture is in the uh, uh, shows the rodent also. Actually, today is uh, 5 5 20, time is 12 pm, and um, still the climate is worse, and people are very much afraid about the climatic diseases. And uh, that's why this corona has been an outbreak and so usually it is a pandemic by now and um, so uh, this uh, basal cell carcinoma is a small brownish red nodule and a translucent color shiny surface showing a network of capillaries and uh, it's diagnosed due to its hardness, painlessness and presence of capillaries. So these points are very much important for an instant diagnosis. So while learning you must have uh, really uh, mugged up and uh, um, because there are only 20 cases and uh, so uh, you must have uh, really gone through very fast but uh, while diagnosing we might, we might receive uh, different cases from different places and uh, so it's uh, all in this uh, book's hand and uh, Um, and um, uh, so the tumor becomes ulcerated with well uh, defined hard and raised edge and uh, with a beaded appearance so like a bead looks like a bead and uh, there's a central scab 
so but the margin gradually spreads and uh, so this uh, characteristic uh, erosion is known as a rodent uh, so first it may itch but at later stage it may be very painful uh, if it has eroded any nerve so these nerves form the main part of the disease anything affecting a nerve causes a disease a pain a touch a stimulus and uh, so uh, the regional lymph nodes are not enlarged and uh, there will be no metastasis to the distal organs uh, there may be squamous cell carcinomatous change and uh, so next we have the squamous cell carcinoma so um, sin dot epidermoid carcinoma or epithelioma so this is more malignant and uh, elderly people and uh, so see the few predisposing factors that the students should keep in mind and uh, their previously irradiated skin long-standing ulcer that is a varicose ulcer the scar from the burn that is the margillans ulcer so repeated uh, irritation by of the skin by various chemicals such as dyes, tar, and a um, few pre malignant conditions such as Bowen's disease, leukoplakia, Pagel's disease. So, this tumor originates from prickle cell layer of the this skin. Uh, it may give rise to sessile cauliflower mass or a fungating ulcer with the raised and averted margin. Uh, the base is indurated and hard as also the edge. There may be blood stained or purulent discharge. And uh, if the tumor is secondarily infected, uh, the regional lymph nodes often lymph, uh, involved as lymphatic spread is quite common and takes place early. So, uh, but secondary infection is there and uh, Metastatic lymph nodes are hard in consistency and may invade the deeper structure to be fixed and inoperable. So then you have the malignant melanoma. So the melanoma of the eye is given. The liver is being palpated for secondary deposits. So a malignant tumor of the melanocytes. So, which originate from the neural crest and so the ectodermal in origin. Uh, it may occur de novo or in a benign mole. And uh, all in children also, uh, patient range is 20 to 40 years. And the girls are more affected in the ratio of 2 to 3 is to 1. And uh, it's very uh, common in Caucasians and uh, rare in Negroes. So, better be a Negro than a Caucasian and um, they are stimulated by ultraviolet light and uh, seen in face, neck, soles, palm, digits, toes, external genitalia. Uh, so, they are prominent site of junctional nevus and uh, it occurs in the choroid of the eye and in the meninges in the rectum and the anal canal and the so uh, you hear a sound so there is a Russian vehicle going there so the, again the spoils of the war and uh, uh, the anal canal and uh, beneath the nail uh, so that's known as a sub melanoma, um, particularly in the thumb and the grey toe. So the main symptom is cosmic disfigurement, uh, which is caused by the enlarging lesions, which brings the patient to surgeon and uh, malignant uh, metastasis. And um, color is pale pinkish brown to black. That is purple hue around the tumor due to rich blood supply, and uh, so and uh, 
so whether it is not there you should say only at least uh, something which is present so that the examiner gives some marks and uh, so then is the clax level of invasion and according to breslow uh, so um the epithelium dies of ischemic necrosis um with the ulcer formation which is covered by a crust and uh, bleeding and subcutaneous infection are common so the surface becomes soft and boggy so firm consistency and uh, so halo or a brown pigment may be seen in the skin so due to local infiltration and uh, satellite nodules um, then uh, So these are due to the embolism which uh, stops in the wall of the lymphatic and starts growing and um, so like uh, and there is also blood metastasis through blood stream to liver lungs bones and brain so um sudden increase in size is an important thing change in color um, so there is even sometimes they may be a melanotic and uh, ulceration and bleeding uh, uh, when the whole mole is rubbed off so usually people found it very itchy and rub it off uh even pinch it off so that's a bad habit uh, usually so you can um either cover it by a cream apply some cream or by a bandage uh, so that it falls off instead of pinching it off and uh, So next we have the sarcoma. So let's uh, let me go and see what's happening there. Since uh, it is a hanging bridge, people are enjoying uh, beating up it with the uh, Russian uh, vehicle. That is a uh, um. um so a crane like uh, see how they are beating it up just enjoying about the road and uh, usually it doesn't breaks it's not made up of uh, uh, tar it is made up of cement so it's just hanging by and uh, so you yeah, next you have this uh, sarcoma and the synovial sarcomas so it's a malignant tumor of the connective tissue uh, it may occur in anything from uh, mesoblastic origin um, they affect the younger age group uh, rapidly growing and uh, disseminate mainly by blood stream that is carcinoma and the lymphatic spread does not occur early and it's not very important so hapa now only the lymphatic has left us and uh, sarcomata cells produce similar tissues and uh, that is osteosarcoma fibrosarcoma chondrosarcoma uh, tumors are very rapid infiltrate the neighboring structures uh, there is a big swelling with varying consistency diffuse margin skin over swelling becomes stretched to glossy and gauzy veins 
growth is very vascular and uh, pulsations are felt example is telangiectactic sarcoma so this is a one mark and uh, as a blood spread is very common lungs are often affected with metastasis so next we have the synovial sarcoma um, so uh, once again remembering you about the exams so don't make it uh, uh, controversy uh, such that uh, you have to write uh, what is there exactly people may change and write uh, uh, so uh, giving a pass is in your hands and uh, synovial sarcoma we come to synovial sarcoma and uh, um, so this malignant tumor arise from the synovial membrane and uh, so um, like uh, uh, of a joint a tendon sheath or bursa mm. so boys are mainly affected here uh, and there is pain and in the affected joint and limitation of the movements uh, so there is a soft tissue shadow uh, with the flex of calcification in the x-ray and uh, so there is seldom uh, any alteration of the joint line so Skyography may reveal the pulmonary metastasis. So, diagnosis confirmed by biopsy, which uh, reveals fusiform cells. That's all. So, these botanical words. And uh, so, there's a fibrous carcoma at the lower part of the back. Actually, it looks like a stomach. And so, this is a back. Um, so other swellings there is sebaceous cyst contains sebum hellosh whitey cheesy pultaceous material uh, and uh, there's a black spots and uh, which is the obstructed opening and it's called the punctum and uh, and it's quite more below or deeper structures and uh, so it arises from fragments of epidermal cell nest uh, following blunt or penetrating injury it arises from the hair follicles uh, so except the palm and sole it occurs anywhere in the body so why and uh, because it's a sebaceous cyst and uh, so so i'm sweating a lot um, so um, then um, it's uh, commonly seen in the scalp face and scrotum and uh, so fluctuation test is always present the trans elimination test is always negative then complications um, you know, cyst becomes enlarged and painful ulceration rupture and sinus formation calcification carcinomatous change pox peculiar tumor and sebaceous horn and uh, So what is Cox peculiar tumor is given after the sebaceous cyst has been ruptured and chronic infection spread to the surrounding tissues from the sebaceous cyst it may lead to painful boggy fungating and discharging mass quite often known as Cox peculiar tumor and uh, 
slow discharge of sebum from wide punctum may harden as soon as it comes out to form a sebaceous horn so like an um, active volcano it comes out uh, which is nothing but uh, inspissated sebaceous material so don't mind uh, there is no connection between an active volcano and a sebaceous horn but um um i was into the active volcano uh, so seeing in the great barrier reef so actually it was like in australia when I, we imagine about the great barrier reef the color which comes to our mind is only black green blue but entirely a different reef which i saw it's not canyon it's only reef was this so i think it is a, a real life of a reef without the growth of organisms so the empty drying leaf not even in jamaica uh, in jamaica usually uh, the uh, even whether it is a coral mass or um, a canyon mass it is usually white pinkish color but uh, in this region usually it is not niger uh, the region is a uh, french part of mauritius and uh, usually it comes under india chirapunji uh, rainfall region so i was along with my family members there so uh, just in a, uh, not like uh, to discover the world or something like that uh, just in a um, like uh, previously we were there and uh, um, uh, just for fun uh, we just went there to see uh, the previous uh, regions and uh, to my surprise uh, was this uh, uh, purple red shining coral mass so it's an active volcano and uh, we can't uh, walk straight there we need to step up and up uh, so that is a beautiful experience with the great barrier reef um, i don't know uh, uh, not anywhere we could see that and full of like uh, jerkin stones and completely heaven um usually usually like um uh, what to say uh, because um saturn uh, region the um so this uh, uh, swimming pools so land swimming pools flat pools um usually uh, they are found on the uh, other part of the road but here uh, it comes behind along so in the other part of the road if we need to cross it uh, takes about some a few kilometers i mean like uh, maybe like uh, uh, one kilometer less than one uh, maybe like half kilometer or something um, but uh, it, uh, the road uh, comes along the land path comes behind but uh, what a beautiful place but it has a snake holes i don't uh, um why are you having these snake holes uh, because it will be very afraid uh, because uh, no one will be like uh, no everyone will be ha uh, happy with uh, a flat pool to sit on a flat pool uh, say to sub uh, to about some uh, uh, a pool up to some 2 to 3 feet of height a pure uh, blue water uh, but uh, here there is no water on the back side uh, but i think uh, uh, because uh, it's a corona time and i wish uh, i uh, uh, we were planning for uh, may to go to may to and erkard and uh, somewhat like ohenekal and uh, the uh, topur dams 
but instead uh, we could uh, because from here it takes about some uh, 40 kilometers into and from there if we travel along uh, 10 kilometers in the interior we could certainly get into the space and have a good research and good photographs um so i uh, this time uh, like uh, because this may after exams uh, i was planning for uh, but uh, i don't know when they would open the schools uh, but certainly they told about some september so if it is uh, september then we are very much blessed so i'll get into the uh, pool so that uh, we walk some half kilometer distance get into the water pool enjoy ourselves and uh, get into the gundukal uh, lake and the mountain there so that is a uh, 1008 temple mountain without the lingas we would uh, certainly enjoy and have some excavatory there and uh, so on the nearby this side on the lake on the left side so we have this alexandrite and the uh, grossler uh, line of separation so the uh, uh, line of uh, the muhambikai uh, age old amman line to say and uh, so that's it also we have a beautiful elephant caves there so um, just in uh, within a 1 km range Uh, like uh, within a view itself we could see the elephant caves so there also it's very beautiful and this side uh, on the main road uh, so um, on the tibetan road so there uh, we will uh, like uh, there's a crusher and uh, mountains and temples into the way path to niger so that is also a beautiful place so to discover and um, um, if you if we want uh, we don't want to go outside anywhere we could just enter into the coral reef and uh, go up to the tipu sultan's fort there uh, so it's a beautiful fort built by tipu sultan with huge big mass of uh, granite and uh, this stones i don't know very heavy stones and uh, so a uh, beautiful fort also as though like uh, we could climb only half of the mountain i mean like uh, uh, the full of the mountain is covered by that uh, beyond uh, uh, is a space path so there also we could go and uh, have time and uh, nice time uh, so like just waiting for it and um, uh, like if people wish uh, we'll go and uh, so next we have kondaloma so um then we have wats and uh, like um, the stones of the erkat uh, so along the way to the ukraine uh, so erkat main road uh, that uh, stones are there on every turn so these stones in a single place you could see on a round so that's a beauty of the vanakonda malai and um, so and also the tirupati uh, perumal face and all of things so uh, let's see but i am very much concerned about the saturn's uh, uh, blue uh, path and also this uh, neptune's uh, beach Uh, like uh, upside down uh, newton's beach so um, that also i am very much interested but i don't know where to get the beach i think that is on that path uh, beyond uh, so and also this uh, peacock um, uh, peacock or a bird uh, mountain is there no uh, so on that side we have the mekanas cave so once i visited there uh, while going along with uh, uh, melinda gates uh, house nearby melinda gates house so there only uh, like uh, so let me see and 
uh, so then we have what? So patchy patches of overgrowth skin with hyperkeratosis, and uh, so Kiff's lesion may appear in the skin, and uh, so then you have keloid hypertrophic scar and the langus lines, and so let me uh, bypass this. And uh, so there's a diagram, normal scar, hypertrophic scar, keloid, um, then callosity and pawn. So like uh, the Baba temple and, uh, and this uh, um, region uh, in this uh, Uzbekistan um, and Uruguay. Uh, so there behind the regions mountains also resemble this part of mountain in the Niger and uh, so Niger has four regions as I told already and uh, so then callosity and the corn so so raised to thicken patches of hyperkeratosis and excessive wear and tear repeated minor trauma gardener's hand and uh, circumscribed horny thickening cone like in shape apex pointing inwards and the base at the surface uh, it's palpable as an audio then you have keratoacanthoma we have molluscum sebaceum uh, so granuloma pyogenicum that is pyogenic granuloma and you have uh, seborrheic wart so senile wart or uh, seborrheic keratosis or basal cell papilloma and you have solar keratosis that is senile keratosis and Bowen's disease so there is a precancerous condition and uh, looks like a brown indurated thickened mass and uh, covered with crust with well defined edge um, uh, when the crust is removed usually this is also one mistake so the crust should not be removed the ulcer must be wiped off by pressing you should not remove the crust if the crust comes out accidentally with the cotton it's okay don't mind but if you remove the cr crust it will be having spots of bleeding and the tissue will not heal as far as earlier so papules can be seen to have a, but for diagnosis if you want to remove the crust remove it without pain and uh, to have oozy a slightly bloody papilliferous surface and uh, uh, the lesion may use the serosanguinous discharge um, so which reveals large clear cells as found in the page of disease um, so that's all okay it has already been one hour and uh, thank you for a beautiful uh, subject on uh, examination of lump of a swelling uh, which reminds me of beautiful places of world and uh, so next we'll go to examination of an ulcer uh, so you have different topics and uh, i think this would be a very um, fast i'll be very fast in this and uh, then you have examination of sinus and fistula so immediately you have examination of peripheral vascular disease and gangrene so as this is my second uh, lecture in surgery so so this is a personal lecture uh, and uh, So this is something like I am dictating it, uh, so not for marks, uh, but for uh, personal improvement, personality improvement and uh, so after this peripheral vascular disease and gangrene, we are having the varicose veins which is very important. So I could skip uh, the in between chapters also but it will go very fast so no need to skip after varicose veins 
we are having examination of the lymphatic system so just uh, we'll finish off with the varicose veins with surgery and then come back if we have time so then we have examination of peripheral nerve lesions so that's okay uh, lymphatic and peripheral nerve peripheral nerves are somewhat important um, disease of muscles of tendons and fascia okay let me go to the index so you have uh, muscles tendons and fascias uh, disease of the bones and the uh, bones and joint injuries so these uh, bones we'll see in the orthopedics and um, uh, examination of I think it is better to read with this book itself because orthopedics uh, I have not uh, read as much of books I read it from here itself and uh, individual joints and pathological joints uh, individual joint pathologies and head injuries intracranial space occupying lesions so these intracranial space occupying lesions is very important one um, and then you have spinal injuries spinal abnormalities examination of hand foot head and face jaws and temporomandibular joint palate cheek tongue and floor of the mouth then we have the salivary glands which is very important then we have the neck the thyroid gland is very important and uh, we have injuries of the chest disease of the chest and examination of breast is very important as we saw earlier in the anatomy so we will not be dealing it with here and uh, examination of case of dysphagia so then we have abdominal injuries which is very important and we have the chronic ones and the abdominal lump uh, abdominal lump is usually not found uh, as it's a rare condition and uh, examination of rectal case is very important as we have a lot of rectal abnormalities and uh, urinary case is very important we have a lot of urinary cases and uh, case of hernia is very important as we have seen a lot of hernial operations and uh, then we have uh, swelling in the inguana scrotal region uh, or groin um, and we have examination of male external genitalia so um, like i wish to read all of these uh, but uh, let uh, time permits so it will be very boring if you continue with the same subject so next uh, I think uh, ONG will be the next next so medicine uh, is like uh, something uh, very pure and uh, so uh, all of these which I read with when combined uh, gives rise to medicine and uh, so then we have uh, the pediatrics so pediatrics i'll be dealing with later uh, because there are uh, like uh, no of pediatric uh, cases uh, uh, not more of pediatric cases uh, here um, in the central uh, then uh, coming to the third year subjects community medicine i have uh, given some explanations um, ENT uh, that is ear, nose and throat I will be dealing with but before ENT we will see about ophthalmology which is very important and I will say about some imaginations and my dealings with ophthalmology and after that we will move on to microbiology uh, which is very important so pathology is also important uh, but uh, it's it comes along with all of the subjects medicine and pathology comes along with all of the subjects if i have time i will read pathology and uh, microbiology certainly i'll be saying about uh, and forensic medicine is that uh, like um, i have read in that time and have wrote uh, but still i have not uh, dealt with forensic medicine so i need to take a review again but i won't be reading about forensic medicine i think uh, so 
next we in second year subjects uh, pharmacology i'll be coming along with the actions of drugs and uh, the side effects and um, microbiology i'll be reading about the diseases and the parasitology so um uh, thank you everyone uh, for listening so next video we'll be seeing about our favorite anatomy uh, after the organical dam project so by now the dam project is over and uh, so uh, from there how we uh, uh, find it is over is that uh, i was very happy seeing about the a uh, black shadow of a woman standing by so that is a bharat mata uh, nearby uh, in the um, road present road uh, where they are constructing the uh, underground tunnel so i am very happy to announce that uh, we have finished the hoganical dam project just in a few seconds like in a few moments and uh, so just uh, uh, in a period of about some 6 months with uh, only a month of work around in an around uh, a month of surveillance so thank you each and every one in the center and in the city uh, for cooperating and helping so because after the meto dam project hoganical is a small project so after constructing meto dam hoganical uh, was uh, just uh, just like anything so thank you everyone